Hey guys, Alite Legionario here, and today I'll be bringing you an old Medieval 2 battle. Um, I've decided I might do some more Medieval 2, um, along with some other ones, Shogun 2 and uh, Rome of course, and if I can get some battles Empire and Napoleon perhaps. Um, if I get any good rather. Um, this is one I did several months ago, just never got around to uploading it. I got another one from a couple of months ago, then I got a few more, much more recent ones that are a couple, only a couple of days old or a week old or so. So um, anyway, I'm playing as Scotland. Uh, my opponent, Pike and Shot, is in command of Sicily. Uh, my army consists of four Knights Hospitaller, uh, two Spear Militia, four Noble Highland Archers, five heavy spear heavy pike militia rather and five noble swordsmen i'm um, not sure what kind of upgrades uh, his army consists of four norman knights um, which gives him the strength uh, better cavalry he's got one two three Let's see he's got, he's at least got three muslim archers as far as i can tell he's got one sword and buckler men um, two of those which are about equal with my noble knights we maybe not quite as good um, he's got uh, dismounted Norman knight they are definitely they are actually better than my dismounted knights so um, he look at this I he charge straight to my spearmen and they just get on um, but I'm going to come straight in with my two um, knights hospitality and come for the charge so um, he's going to bring his infantry into his support but I've already brought mine up to support as well so the two flanks are going to get snagged up on um, infantry, bat um, infantry uh, and knight battles, basically. Um, his front line consists of, I think it's six, five or six Pavis crossbowmen. They're good crossbowmen. And he's also got, let's see, um, Pike Militia. He's got about four of those. Uh, he's got another dismounted Norman knight in the back here. So um, I'm going to go on the offensive this time round. Um, when I play Medieval, um, I'm not quite as good at it as Rome, so I'm a little more cautious when I play them with Rome. I prefer to be offensive if I can, if I can but um, I don't always have that luxury in medieval because I'm not as good at it. I'm still, I'm still pretty decent at it though, because it's similar enough to Rome that I can adapt to it pretty easily, while still having some di differences. So I'm going to slip into this gap. Um, the Pike Jewel um, is going my way on the right. Um, it's even in the centre and. I think it's pretty even on the left as well. Um, but it starts to collapse in the centre, but I have got a unit of reserve noble um, swordsmen just in case I need to reinforce the central line or anywhere in the other centre particularly though. Um, it's not doing as well as the flanks. Um, flanks are quite comfortably holding their own, but the centre's not, so I'm going to use this um, unit of noble swordsmen to support. Over here, um, We've both been uh, pinned down with our cavalry and infantry in a slugfest, which is um, sort of tossing to and fro between the two of us evenly um, on both flanks. Um, well, particularly on that flank, but this flank, um, well, it's seemingly in his favour at the moment, um, at least on one side of it. But uh, it's pretty even, uh, sort of a meat grinder kind of fight where it's just going to grind on down to our pikes and um, swordsmen and cavalry. Um, archers are just going to toss them where they can, firing away. Um, but I've got a bit of variety of um, archers. Well, he's got more archers, but um, his, he didn't withdraw his pavy's crossbowmen and now they are snagged on my pikes and they will not survive that fight. Um, even if they do look like they're doing all right, they won't in the long run. Um, these Norman knights, however, um, very good heavy infantry. Um, probably a bit better than my noble, noble swordsmen. Probably not heaps, but um, at least the mounted versions in terms of cavalry are actually quite a bit better. But I had extra infantry brought in, um, although he's brought his own extra infantry in as well, but I had better, I had more of it rather than him, so I was able to take the edge there. And he just killed my general. He's, he's just killed my general. So, um... I bust open his sort of semi left flank, my well, semi right and my left. Um, but his Norman Knights are staying there fighting for a long time. They are a tough infantry unit. Um, good match for my noble swordsman. But um, I'm going to flank around here and um, I bust in the centre with my uh, pipes as well. Um, so this is good. Um, and now um, I'm cracking him open pretty good. Um, over this side, uh, I won, but it cost all the cavalry I had on this particular flank. And over here, um, the battle continues on. Um, 
slightly in his favour, I think, but nothing too spectacular there. Um, actually, no, he will win that fight, I think. Uh, no, he won't win that fight. No, so basically, I've won both flanks, and I've already I've won the main battle in the middle, the pike battle. So um, that's to be expected, though. Um, Pikes is Scotland's um, expertise. Um, to make up for their lack of cavalry, basically. Um, these are not even the best Scottish pikes, they're the second best. Um, there's uh, noble pikemen, which are better again, but they're a wee bit expensive that I couldn't afford the noble swordsmen and even even accounts. So the um, Scottish proved their supremacy in the pike world. Um, this is kind of almost like a phalanx type battle, almost, sort of. Um, kind of the same principle as one, I guess. But um, we use the heavy infantry in the um, in the cavalry battle, um, I need, knew I would need the heavy infantry, and I had those two spear militia units just because they were spearmen to assist um, in fighting against um, what well, I knew, Norman mounted Norman knights, our superior knights, hospitality, which I had four of. So um, um, they were certainly a one if I did not have the support of my in infantry and um, my various other units. So uh, his dismounted Norman knights still couldn't have a good account for themselves. But um, I'm going to break through them here, and um, my archers have proven their value as well. Highland Noble Archers are a very capable unit, but so are these Muslim Archers. And, um, yeah, well, that's the end of it there. So, uh, close victory, um, very similar numbers. And that's just the phone, guys. Um, I'll just ignore it. So, yeah, similar numbers. Um, I lost 790... Uh, 436 left, killed 835 and caught 85, so about the same as him really, because he only got 914 kills and 6, so relatively the same amount of kills and losses and whatnot. And uh, here's the um, the uh, the end piece here. Um, thank God that phone ended, it annoys me. Um, he's, you know, see my Knights Hospitaller, only one of them really did any good. Um, these units got destroyed, this one did okay, the General's unit did okay. The heavy pipe militia, um, three of them did very well, and that's was pretty evenly, so they proved that they were a better pike unit than the Sicilian militia one, but pikes are quite good for stalling. Um, the noble swordsman, fairly even all round with his um, Norman knights, probably not quite as good, but um, they still perform well, but the archers, um, they claimed the victory in the archer duel there. Spear militia, they added extra support, which was necessary and helpful, but aside from that, um, that's all it comes down to. So uh, anyway, that's a good game to pike and shot, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be bringing you more Medieval 2 battles soon, so I'll see you then.